Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, August 26th. Um, so let's work, watch your work on Wednesday. <laughs> it's early in the morning. I just woke up a little while ago. I'm drinking my little bit of caffeine that I have in the morning in the form of a water packet that you mix up with water. And it's pomegranate lemonade. It's really good. It's the stuff you can buy at Walmart to mix into drinks. I mean, into waters. And, uh... It's got caffeine in it, so I like that one to have in like the mornings because it gets me caffeine. <laughs> but anyways, I'm trying to cut out the bad sources of caffeine, although I'm sure that's still not perfect because it is pink, so it means it has dye in it. And anything with dye in it, it's not good for you. <laughs> but, um, you know, baby steps, baby steps. Anyways, I'm working on this. I technically started it last night, um, just barely, and then when Devin came home, we ended up watching a bunch of the show Lucifer so I didn't crochet while watching it because I can't really concentrate on the show while crocheting but um today I'm going to be working on it a lot after I get done sewing I have a lot of sewing I have to do today and it's from the new book that I got in the mail as a gift from Brittany at Woolmakes and it is the Annie Spooktacular Crochet it's a magazine full of Halloween patterns and um I was flipping through it and there's like a lot of things in here I want to make. But one thing in particular that I don't want to make is this little trick or treat bag. It's Frankenstein's monster. And I thought it would be cute for Jesse. <laughs> He's been using the same trick or treat bag since his very first Halloween. When in, in his first Halloween he was like six months I think. Seven months away. Let's see here. May, June, July, August, September, October. So he was almost six months. Because his birthday, I mean his birthday's on the first so it was Halloween night so you know he was one day from being six months old he was dressed as a pumpkin <laughs> but um it's, it's a Dollar Tree bag like you know I think my sister got it for us and it's just a uh, Dollar Tree plastic reusable bag uh with spiders on it and we've been using it every single year and last year he used a bucket but we still use the bag to dump the bucket in while he filled up the bucket again because we, we got a lot of trunk or treats <laughs> I always plan it out I'm really like I'm on point or whatever. I always, I look, I'll start probably next week in September is when churches and stuff start posting their trunk or treats. So I will make a list and I'll get a calendar and I'll write down every church and what time and what day they're doing trunk or treats so that we can try to hit the majority of them. I know that's crazy, but I don't like taking him regular trunk or treating because to me it seems dangerous, you know, uh, on the streets and stuff. Um, and it's hard getting a little kid in and out of buckled up car seats. So we always do trunk or treats mostly. We do a little bit of regular trunk or treating, but mostly trunk or treats. And I got an idea, or I got a feeling that this year is gonna be trunk or treat heavy because of COVID. But anyways, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, I thought it's about time for him to get a new one. Although the old one is gonna be going into my special keepsake box because he's been using it since he was a little baby. And uh, it's actually got a hole in it that's I uh, taped on the inside and outside together so it doesn't tear. But uh, you know, I'm a sentimental person so I keep everything. We have like three large totes in the closet of sentimental stuff. And most of it's from Jesse being a baby, you know, up to now. So I can't imagine how much stuff I'm going to have by the time I die. <laughs> but anyways, it's this cute little uh, Frankenstein monster. So there's also a cat one. But I thought, I like this. I love Frankenstein's monster. He's on the blanket. I got him up there. I have a vase of him. He's, he's just one of my favorite um, characters, I guess, for Halloween. And I also made that. It's right over there. <laughs> um, so all it needs is green, some purple, a little tiny bit of white, and black for the mouth stitches, eyebrows, and hair. So I'm gonna use all Red Heart because that's usually what I have on stash. And so far, this is all I got. <laughs> I just started the first um, panel. So it'll be two of these big green panels, the front and back, and then I'm assuming you sew them together, and then you just um, make all the little applique pieces and put on there and the handles and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line it with fabric probably just a simple fabric um since it's just for Jesse he, he won't care if it's printed or not but I did that just so that like sucker sticks aren't poking through the holes you know and sticking out everywhere and the handles I don't know if I'm gonna make crocheted ones or if I want to use um like the webbing that I use for tote bags or something I want to do something that's a little bit more sturdy um because this will probably be the bag that he fills up at the churches and businesses that we trunk or treat at and then we'll go to the car and dump it out into his big bag and uh, that's usually what we do is we fill up like his little bucket or something at the place we're at and then we dump it into the big bag so that when he goes to the next place it's not like overflowing but uh, so this will be 
hopefully that bag unless you know I'm gonna make it and if he doesn't want to use it that's okay <laughs> I'll just use it because a lot of times when you're a parent of a young kid walking around with them the people will give you candy too <laughs> so uh, I'm okay with that because me and Devin love candy and um, we end up raiding Jesse's candy anyways because there's some things that he can't eat like uh, we, he still doesn't do gum and hard suck on candies that like uh, gobstoppers, you know, we don't give him stuff like that. And I really hate for him to have suckers just because he's so messy with them. So I usually try to hide the suckers as quickly as possible. But um, yeah, so either way, we're all getting candy. <laughs> so we'll use uh, this if Jess doesn't want to use it. I don't mind. But that's what we're working on today. So it's a nice pattern. It says that it's uh, a three on a scale of six to of difficultness, but it seems super easy to me. You know, I've read ahead. Um, it does have buttons as eyes, but I probably will just crochet but, uh, eyes because I don't keep a stash of buttons on hand. And I don't have to go buy any. But, uh, yeah, it seems like a pretty simple pattern. There's a lot of super cute patterns in here. I'm so excited about this book. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm working on. So what are you guys working on today? If you have any uh, pattern links or YouTube channel links or anything, just leave them in the comments. If they don't pop up right away, it's because they need to be... Um, approved and then when I, I see them I will approve them <laughs> but uh, I definitely don't mind any of you guys sharing your links or anything in the description because you know this is a community so I want us to all grow together not just me grow and everybody else stay little you know that's not my goal <laughs> I want us to all just be happy and share each other's links and discover new people and all that jazz because a lot of fun <laughs> I'm super behind on my YouTube videos I watched a bunch yesterday but I think they were from last week so I'm trying to catch up I've just been so busy with uh, Devin was off all weekend and sewing and all the stuff that's going on this week the car stuff and the doctor stuff and all that stuff it's just a lot of stuff i'll be so glad when this week is over but i mean we're halfway there it's hump day <laughs> so now it's all downhill i guess but in a good way um so yeah i guess that's everything for today <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys